Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're back with a new, the annual release, limited release of Noble Collection from Crown Royal. It's a 13-year bourbon mash. I was beating my chest. I'm not sure why, other than there's a caveat. This is not bourbon whiskey. It is not bourbon whiskey. <laughs> I guess Let's you didn't test know. Test it. Test it! Not bourbon stock. <laughs> All right, we're in. So why the sticker, man? I know because well, I was watching or listening yeah. to Gillespie's channel. Crown got Royal trouble. got in some trouble. Trouble. Now, and I think some people have given the, that certain whiskey, not this one. There's another one, a standard release they do. It's a $20 bottle. Bourbon the mash. Bourbon mash. Right, which they got which, in trouble for. Okay, it's That's not that trouble. bad. But you didn't I went, like it. Well, I went into it expecting, like most people, bourbon. Which is why they got a little bit in trouble. Yeah. Because they're, they're not, not an American. It's whiskey. not anywhere near bourbon. Now, it's not bad when you taste it. And that's exactly what I thought. I was like, this is a very Crown Royal-ish, sweet rye, light whiskey. Very sweet rye notes right. is what I was getting. And using the word bourbon means it's got to be from America. So, yeah, they got in some trouble. Um... They had to put on their, uh, they're going to have to rename it from what right. we've heard. They've got to repackage it. We still have the bourbon mash packaging all over here. Right, we do. They've even came in with some of the new newer bottlings on the bourbon mash and added that label that says this is not <laughs> bourbon whiskey on the box and the bottle. Right. So anyway, uh, two years ago, they released the Crown Royal... It's the Cornerstone mm -hmm. Noble Collection, which is the one that had been transported around on the train, remember? Right. I do remember. That one was okay. The next one was really good. Last year's, which look what I have right here. Mm, good move. The oh. Crown Royal Noble Collection, the wine barrel finished, that which was, was very good. very good. So maybe we'll do a little side-by-side -side here before yes, we're done. I love that. This year... Just the other day showed up the uh, Crown Royal Noble Collection 13-year-old bourbon mash. Mm -hmm. So, Caveat. I could not... Now, now, I'll tell you, the, the Cornerstone was like $70 to $80, and I wasn't that impressed with it. I didn't notice or really think what's making it worth 70 to Crown $80. Crown comes in lighter. It's a lighter dram. Yeah. Overall, generally. Last year's the wine barrel finished was $55. And, and better. Yeah. Most people liked it better than they did the Cornerstone. Yes, I did for sure. This year's, and we'll talk about it later, is at that same price point still. So 50, 59? 55. 55. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so uh, it is a little bit higher though. It's 43 or 45%. 45. Yeah. 45% ABV. Give us a little bit more. Oomph. I love it. We oomph. like the oomph. We oh, dig oomph. Scott's got a shout out. Yes, shout out. Oh, wait, what coin? Oh, 274. 275. Yeah, first of all, you comment. It can be sometimes, usually it's on our YouTube. We love all that. We get thousands of YouTube comments. But sometimes you have Instagram stuff, Twitter, occasionally Facebook, but I suck at Facebook. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, I've got to tell you, we talk about Facebook and you admit you're not good. i got to tell you, I figured out what it is, why it rubs me. Yeah. Because it's a reflection of us, Ooh. of me. What? When you neglect Facebook, it'd be the same as me neglecting Instagram and Twitter. It reflects on that's how I look at it. I'm like when you're and you're like yeah I don't pay attention to Facebook that's a reflection on me that's why I offer I was like do you want me to take it over you don't even have a Facebook account no why I don't like Facebook but, but if well, I, I did it yeah. I would run it you've admitted that I like take stuff to the extreme or the next level I don't half ass do stuff <laughs> Hence, I half-ass. <laughs> Facebook is half-ass. And I take it personally because it reflects on me. It's not your personal. So you, I can see you neglecting your personal First of all, I'm learning account. that you take this personally. I didn't know that's you what were, I figured out. I didn't after, know you were offended by my lack I, of Well, that's attention. what I figured out it was. Really? Yeah. I'm like, you know, when he's talking, because if you remember, I don't know, it was a month ago or so, we were filming something or we were live, and I was like, I will take over Facebook. And you were like, nah, nah, I got it. Nah, I just... Don't even, oh yeah, if you want, Scott, hit him up on Twitter or Instagram. And I'm like, yeah, hit me because I'll, I'll answer your question right away. And then I was like, 
why is that bothering me so much? And then I figured, I was like, well, that's because it's our account. It's not your personal Actually, account. Actually, it you is under mine. Well, you it can't, is. You can't it's do that. That's the whole reason yeah. I had to do it. I'm barely on my own Facebook account, quite honestly. I don't. I don't need to take pictures of my burrito. <laughs> <laughs> it's food. If he went I mean, somewhere, I mean by the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> that was intentional. I didn't think I'd get you to laugh yeah. that hard. <laughs> Anyway, I don't right, know. but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't live on Facebook as red. it is. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't think it was going to get you that good. I was just going to let it. Burrito. I was just going to let it float across there, and then I caught you, and then it made me a little embarrassed. But I did mean it as the double okay. entendre. Hopefully, I got that right, JC. <laughs> um, so, on my personal Facebook account, in order to have the business tie-in or scotch. The, the Scotch Test Dummies, it has to be under, it's got to be, I forget what they even call it, a page that's basically under your main account, which is fine. That keeps people from opening up fraudulent accounts. Like a accounts subsidiary stuff, account. Right? Yeah. Which is fine. But on my own Facebook account, I don't live there. I, I mean, I just don't. Maybe you could let your wife run it. Oh, she's, she's all she, over Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah, she's Maybe all over Maybe you just say, here, stuff. take this Dummies Facebook page. <laughs> I'll ask her. I mean, she's all over FB. So, yeah. Um, well, I don't, just, I just I don't want to that's offend you. It was. That's why I finally feel I was okay. like, that's what it is. All right. Here, here's some of my thoughts on it. We're so good on, uh, as, as we get bigger, it's been harder to follow up on comments on YouTube. YouTube, we're heavily engaged. I mean, I'll pop in and you're commenting. There's even been times we're both commenting mm -hmm. and I can't see your comment yet. And then I look and we've both commented to yeah. somebody. You know why? Why? Because you start at the top of the comments. I do. Where I go to the bottom okay. Okay. and then yeah. work my way yeah, up. Yeah, I like to work top Oldest down. to newest. I like to work top down. Yeah. It's fresh. I noticed. Yeah, I, love, in, I like, love top oh, down, fresh. Boom, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I know we've gone down a rabbit trail, but this is what makes yeah. this fun and entertaining. Um, I actually envision the future is that there's going to be less of this diffusion of social media where you've got to be on Twitter, you got to be on Instagram, you got to be on the new thing, you got to be on Facebook because that's where the quote my my stepdaughter says that's where the old people go. Thanks. Um, you've got to be on all these things, and I see it actually somehow conjoining because I think that's too out there. That's just me, but I don't, I don't want to be old. But when I would prefer to put out content rather than engage on multiple platforms. But I get you. Instagram's hot. Instagram was good. Yeah. Instagram's Let's move on. good. Sorry. Okay. Scotch God shout out. Anybody want to? I, I have no pictures of burritos on the Facebook page. Please don't post a picture of your burrito <laughs> on Facebook. You know Mr. what I'm going to get now is a lot of burrito Mr. food pics. Mr. That. Bill is our Scotch God shout out. Mr. Yes, Bill. Mr. Bill. Uh, Ooh. And he watched our uh, Henry McKenna bottle and bond review, but he says you guys an called. Old one. You guys called this first. It was two years ago. Yes. You guys called this first, and then he included a link to a Kentucky.com business article where uh, recently Henry McKenna, 10-year bottle and bond, won the San Francisco, or one of the, the uh, whiskey awards at the San Francisco Whiskey right. um, Show. Here's, and here's what he's referencing, and I don't even know if Mr. Bell knows or not. Crown Royal, Northern Harvest Rye. There we call go. that 50. No, we call that three or four months before Bill Murray puts it as the number one whiskey in his Bible. Jim Murray. <laughs> yeah, I know. I did that on purpose. I love Bill Murray, though. Yeah. But old Jim puts it in there. We called it ahead of time. Bill does not do it with <laughs> No, no, nor would he. Um, uh, probably the next one we call way early is the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We call it mm. the Bottle of Wow. It, it kills. And then later, it gets the... Um, uh, whiskey, whiskey advocates fast. or whiskey advocates, whiskey advocates blind, whiskey the and they, they they give it whiskey the year. We call the McKenna early. You know what hasn't gotten the accolades that I think it should is the uh, Jack Daniels uh, single barrel barrel proof. Mm. We call that the double barrel. That's unbelievably good as well. Yeah, enough said. Crown Royal Noble, thirteen year bourbon. Ash. I took a little sip and it was, it was very good. Now I'll tell you. Um, just going back to the, the Crown Royal Bourbon Mash, this is completely different. 
<laughs> uh, it has a great nose to it. Some of the sweet rye notes. They're slight. Mm -hmm. They're not jumping out at you. You get the cinnamons. You get the vanillas. See, I, I see these rye notes as powerful. On the well, on the nose. I'm oh, sorry. I've tasted yeah. it already. So I'll go nose and sorry. And, I, and the color of it is awesome as well. Now Some let's talk rich. real quick. Crown Canadian whiskeys generally for the most part what canadians do is they distill a rye whiskey yes they distill a corn whiskey yes a barley whiskey all separate yeah then, and then they blend those distilled spirits spirits together right i love that they usually don't create a mash generally and distill it but yeah, this you know, is not actually, all, this right? is as far as i know this is their bourbon mash got it or what this is what they refer to as their bourbon mash which they which I don't remember what it is yeah and we don't do the research go watch some other yeah, guys yeah 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 we don't dive deep into the history we want you to know so what's the aside, aside with Facebook talk and Instagram talk what's in the bottle and is and it good pictures of burritos <laughs> <laughs> this is good yeah I get the rye in here and I love it so I the nose is very caramel cream mm -hmm. and that I like too and I just saw this the other day and they got a lot of it and I didn't buy it because I knew you had it and we were going to review it that 45 percent really mm -hmm. really stands out really makes it good gives it a little extra punch mm -hmm. The caramels, the cinnamons are there. It's still lighter. <laughs> good. It still seems somewhat lighter than a bourbon. Uh, you know, overall palate. There, there's orange zest. The rye notes are there. Right. There's other subtleties in here. It's 13 years old. It's extremely smooth. The rye brings out all those spicy, rich notes. Finish is really light. Wow, at 45, it's extremely, extremely smooth. I am really, the last two Noble collections have been mm. wonderful. Wonderful. Well, and I don't I don't have the Cornerstone anymore. It would be neat to go back and see, but I just remember not being that impressed with it. Maybe it was the price point. Mm. Um, the wine, and we'll pull out the wine cask here in a little bit and, and look at them side by side, which I did last night. I bet you did. A little teaser. It's good. You should. This is <laughs> strong, rich. I almost said viscous, but it's not really viscous. But it is a powerful, upfront, beautiful mm -hmm. rye, rye, rye mm. influence. I get a lot of rye here. That's the sparky cinnamon pepperiness I get is the rye. But I love rye. Now, it's not overly, though. It's not like a young rye, obviously. It's 13 years old. That's what's you funny know what? when you okay. call it the bourbon mash, though. When you think, okay, think of, um, I'm just going to use this as an example, the, the Balvany 12-year double wood. Okay. Where it spent, say, 11 years in a bourbon cask and then a year in a sherry cask. Mm -hmm. That's kind of not not that same example, not bourbon and sherry cask, but with this, it, it, this tastes like it spent 11 years in a bourbon cask and two years in a rye cask okay you know like, like it's a lighter whiskey or maybe 11 years in a rye cask and two years in a bourbon cask Wait. where it's it's just a nice smooth there's a nice smooth mellow transitions back and forth both notes are there they talked about this whiskey uh uh our Canadian whiskey made with a bourbon mash bill, one of the five unique whiskeys that comprise our signature blends. It's, it is aged in new charred American white oak barrels, no less than 13 years. Then there's a little marketing, richer, deeper notes of caramel and fruit. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the caramel, touches of the fruit, almost like caramel apple. Um, it talks about how smooth it is, is layered. Um, yes. Notes of creamy vanilla, orchard fruits, and subtle toasted oak. You got a couple more blue carrots. I think I do, and they should be rinsed and clean. So last year's limited noble release, the wine barrel finished, finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels, 40.5%, so a little mm. bit lighter. Mm-hmm. 
I, was I like that 45 to 46 percent range 48 45 well, to 40 it, it, that should be your standard offer you and i lean towards those definitely higher bbvs for sure hmm. i remember this one being very very good yeah the uh the, the 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 little shtick of the the first one traveling around on a train as it aged i didn't think that did anything for it at all so Wow, the nose is definitely different. I get mm -hmm. uh, a vanilla and a lot of cream. It's much sweeter and, and lighter, and I think that's probably from the finish. And even in the color, you can see it. Mm -hmm. That wine, yeah. the Cabernet Sauvignon barrel. I love the way you say that. Mm -hmm. Boy, these are distinctly different, though, because this is lighter, smoother, mm -hmm. subtler. Sweeter. It's I got the grapes. By this. Just on the on the on my nose when I was inhaling as I took a little sip, the grapes, mm -hmm. white grapes, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know if Cabernet Sauvignon is white. Oh, it's red, isn't it? It's a red wine. Is that Either right? way, I got grapes. I don't know if I could distinguish between white, red. Much more sugar, powdered sugar. Yes, yeah, that dry sweetness. powdered sugar astringency in the mouth. That is on, interesting. On the wine fin, on last yes. year's wine. This year's 13-year bourbon mash. The the finish is beautiful with this with last year's version because you're right, strong powdered almost donutty. That the the maltiness is is touched in there as well. Wow. Hmm. So this year's 13-year bourbon mash. A lot of oak influence. Hold on, chupacabra. <laughs> Um, 89, 89. I like that rye in there. I really, really like it. Plus, I gave it a 91. Mm. Usually, I'm a point or two higher than you on mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's pretty standard. I was really impressed with it. Overall, you're generally more that's generous great. than me. Well, probably, yeah. <laughs> Even in sharing. Yeah. Well, that was good. What? Hmm? Even in sharing. I was like, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll be like, wow, that... Uh, just the other day on their shelf, they had the um, uh, Lagavulin limited 2017 release. And they're like, hey, that's up there. Mm. I was like, boom, it's not up there anymore. And then they were like, I heard it's good. And I'm like, it is. I didn't open it or nothing. Mm. Didn't share with them a bit. No sharing. Actually, that one was special. Wife got it for me for our 15th wedding anniversary. I wrote on it. My goal... Because I do have a backup of that bottle, is to open that at our 30th anniversary. Mm. Look at that. Or you can get your Ardbeg Dark Cove Committee release. Open that up on your 30th anniversary. I don't. I won't. Um, I won't make it that long. Let's. We got a Patreon. Love it. So We're gonna hold. Couple, them. Yeah. Couple of uh, two dollar supporters. Now we right. do have some three dollar supporters we need to reach out or, to. Yeah. We fell behind with Make America Pete it again. We weren't doing Patreon shout outs yeah. during that. Yeah. Keep supporting us. They're, those shows were long enough. We said we need. Let's just we'll, well tack these and, on and now. We're, we're dialed in on those. Those are those are work. Now this two dollar supporter has oh. been. He gets a lot of mentions. And, and he's traveling, been traveling all over. We, we've probably already showed his picture. Yeah, we've seen his. We could probably recycle a picture, but if if DL. We're gonna yell his name in a little bit. Once another pickup, another pickup. Well, no, he, well, for this, I mean, that's through the travel oh, and dummy. Sorry, that's he's a, he's a two dollar. Sorry, Dwayne oh, Large. Was, Dwayne Large. Dwayne, Dwayne Large. Large. He's large and Dwayne. -y. You know how Dwayne is awesome. He has been doing so yeah. much touring. He's hit Lagavulin, <sighs> Lafroig, Ardbeg, Brickwadi. I want all to these. party with Dwayne. Isla Distilleries. I want to be on the Dwayne fan club yeah we should be he yeah. should start his own yes Patreon. and we just we're, we're, we're like we'll his, ro him. his roadies we'll be like hey we're setting up camp for you in isla again we're, yep. we're your prep team <laughs> 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 he's all over isla and, and he looks like he's having a blast sorry and brand new just came in a couple days ago or yesterday spanking He's that, our 90th. 90th page. Well, we've had a couple drop. Right now, he's number 90 on it, the list. It, it modulates. It, it, it fluctuates. Currently yeah. 90. Douglas Chriso. Douglas Chriso. Douglas Chriso. 
Thank you very much. Hopefully we're pronouncing that right. We got it. And actually, I picked up, I was watching, you know, we've done a lot of collaborations with other whiskey channels, whiskey reviewers, and I was watching It's Bourbon Night. They did a live stream. Of course, they're doing live streams now, too. We had sure. them on a couple months ago. They love Scott. And Douglas was in commenting and super chatted them a little bit. So I think he might have came over to us from It's Bourbon Night. Good grab. So, yeah, thank you. Good grab. Uh, thanks to It's Bourbon Night, Chad and Sarah, and Douglas, you too. Yeah. Awesome support. Uh, yeah. I know we've said it, and but Patreon is our... Yep, keeps Our us independent, fiercely independent even. People think we make you make money, you start posting videos on YouTube you and don't. you make money. Mm, We've been no. at, we're coming up on five years five and years. It's, we're over a little over a hundred dollars a month now. Right, unless super chats come in. So you, Well, yeah, super, just standard. Super chats help. Standard, we're standard just over a hundred a month. Yeah, we could retire brutal. any day. Yeah. You and I split that, we're, we're in hog heaven. Yeah, so... Uh, thank you, Douglas. Thank you, Dwayne. Mm -hmm. Awesome supporters. We got uh, Sam and Chandler. We're going to reach out to you and if you want us to put a picture up. If you want uh, one. The only you, rules are you got to have clothes on. That's true. And no pictures of burritos. True. Burrito free. <laughs> Come in. Uh, Sam and Chandler uh, will send you a, an email if you can. If you, want, if you want your picture in, send us one. We'll put it. We'll give you a shout out for being a $3 Patreon And let me supporter. throw on too, if you if you support us on Patreon, you can do as little as a dollar a month. You can do more. You can custom it. Mm -hmm. As supply lasts, I still have some thank you photo cards where we did some little fun mockery of ourselves when we hit a 1 million unique viewers. I still have some views. Of those. Views, sorry. So as, what did I say? Viewers, viewers, a million views, viewers, views. A million views. So as uh, as I get new folks come in, there's a request. Hey, share your address. We won't spam you or anything. But what it allows me to do then is send off this card. Some people don't want their address out there. That's totally fine too. We're also going to be doing a Christmas fun card. Yeah. And uh, and we're even hoping that if some people send us Christmas cards. We can do those, <coughs> kind of like how we do traveling dummies, where we can show them. Well, and once you've donated a hundred dollars through Patreon to us, you get a special. Uh, you get coin. a unique Patreon coin. Yeah, it's not available for you for can't purchase. buy it. It's only through Patreon. Yep. So we need we ship those out to you. We need your address for that. Mm -hmm. But we even have one um, individual that's hit the level where he got a special shirt. We got a lot of merchandise up on ScotchTestDummies.com. It help. It all helps support us. It helps keep the lights on. Keeps the show going. Fiercely keeps us independent. Uh, yeah, helps keep us independent. <laughs> right. Scotch it. <laughs> you Scotch gods. Salon Dummies. <laughs> <laughs>